I'll be really, really quick. Um, so just to this lady and to some extent to uh, this lady here, I mean, yeah, I, I often get into arguments, particularly with unions in Australia, because I rarely differentiate between met coal and uh, thermal coal and other projects that look at you know, coal to liquids, coal to gas projects. Um, I think the key thing to remember about all these issues is the climate doesn't care if it's an export ton of coal or a ton of met coal or a ton of anything else. Like, we do actually need to keep it in the ground. So, you know, while there is a time for some of those refined issues, and you know, I am across things like semi-soft coking coal and their different you know, market abilities, the climate doesn't really care <coughs> and it all does have to stay in the ground. Um, and we don't need any new coal mines. <coughs> Um, and just on your your couple of points, which I think are great ones, um, on the question on what on two things to do. I think if you're lucky enough, as you and I are, to live in a place where you don't get beaten up or killed um, for uh, climate activism, um, is so the first thing I would say is do something local. Uh, contact your MP. Contact ministers. Uh, it really does count. As someone who lives in Canberra, uh, it, it's so. I, I speak to a lot of senators, a lot of members. If I'm speaking to them cold and they've never heard of this issue, they've never had anyone call their office and say, I think we should have any new coal mines, it's really hard to talk to them. If they've had 10 constituents say, we're sick of new coal mines and you should do something about it, like, it really makes a difference there across it already. So, first thing, do something local and be involved in, do something local and political, whether it's going to a forest protest or talking to your MP. Um, and the second would be, you know, speak to someone here and ask how can you help them? How can you help their struggle? Because one thing I've learned in my time in Canberra and in politics is the art of politics and the art of lobbying is <coughs> helping people solve their problems. You never go to a politician with a problem because they've already got heaps. Go with a solution. And so at the Australia Institute we've had a lot of success engaging with the Pacific and people from Kiribati and Tuvalu and getting them in the Australian media shaming the Australian government, shaming Australian industries. You know, people who may seem uh, obscure or obtuse or not relevant to Australian politics, actually they've, they've been really powerful and so it'd be great to have some people from Bangladesh or South Africa, uh, actually we've had some South African people related to the uh, Boy Carabello project. Um, yeah, find out how you can help someone here would be the other thing. And to close on the end game, actually I think in Australia like, it is playing out. I, I don't know how it's going to play out over the next year or two, but you know, we're only a couple of significant wins away from some really major changes. And how long they'll take, I don't know. You know the Adani project, I mean, maybe we'll still be arguing about it in three years' time, but maybe it'll fall over at the current Queensland election. And, yeah, I, 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 think, I, th I think some of those end games, I, in Australia anyway, I can't see exactly how they'll play out, but I, I think the end's not as far away as it may seem. Mm -hmm. We've had a long trip through the world of coal towards the end of the fossil fuel age. Um, I believe, I firmly believe that we are on the right side of history. Um, yes. I believe that we will live to see the end of coal on this planet. Um, we have heard many different angles um, where things are happening, where good work is worthwhile being done from um, uh, building tree houses and going into the coal mine and stopping the diggers to doing economic work to organizing communities um, and so on. Um, I would like to encourage all of you um, get involved in the struggle, um, be part of it. We can end coal and we can end it very soon. Um, on that table there, there are a few uh, more resources. Um, of other events happening over the next days here in Bonn. Um, thank you all for coming and um, I wish you a nice evening.